Hi everyone, I'm back for another video. Before we get into it, I appreciate your support by subscribing to my channel as we're closing on to 500 subscribers. Today, let me show you my Logitech K380 keyboard using it with my iPad Pro. And for the first time, I'm pairing it with the Logitech M331 wireless mouse. I decided to pair this two because of the matching colors. The purplish, bluish, or however you see it, looks good and unique. Connecting the K380 keyboard is the same as any Bluetooth device. I made several videos on the K380, so check it out in the cards in the top or in the links in the description box below. Once I power on the keyboard, I choose the device switch I want to set it on, and turn on the Bluetooth in the iPad, and choose the keyboard name, and that's it. Connecting the mouse is surprisingly simple too. I have this Dell adapter for my work laptop, and as it has USB-C, I thought of trying it out. At first, I did not think it would work, but I'm so happy it did. I plugged in the USB-C cable in my iPad, then plugged in the mouse's USB receiver, and it instantly connects. Although, charging doesn't work when I plug in my iPad charger to it. Still, I really love versatile gadgets that I can use in many ways. It's a win for me and the earth as I don't need to buy many stuff. This pair makes a good combination, at least for me personally. If you have watched my other videos, you'll know I prefer a keyboard that's quite silent and the K380 is the best one I've used so far. As for the M331 mouse, it's a silent mouse and the clicks are subtle too. However, even if the mouse clicks are quiet, the build quality of this mouse is quite cheap and the body is quite flimsy. So when touching and moving it, it makes creaky noise louder than the clicks. Here's how the typing on the keyboard and the mouse clicks sound like. I can customize the few buttons available on this mouse. I have other videos about using a mouse on the iPad, so check it out. I've linked it on the cards on top and in the description box below. I customize the scroll wheel click to go to the home screen, while the usual single click and the left button and the double click on the right button. As for the keyboards, there's no customizations that can be done here. The keyboard shortcuts and function keys work as usual, and I really like it. It makes it easy for me to work on my iPad and makes my experience with the iPad much better. Most of the shortcuts are similar to the K480 keyboard, but I'll make a dedicated video for the shortcuts on the K380 for the iPad. The ever useful function keys on the K380 also work on the iPad, similar to the K480 and what's missing on the Magic Keyboard. Play, pause, mute, adjust volume, all work as usual. The compact size of the K380 makes it more portable than the K480 keyboard. If you don't want to spend that much to get the magical, magic keyboard, the K380 is a very good and reliable alternative. It's light and easy to carry around. This is what I will take with me if I need to go out and do some typing. And can you guess how many times I've changed the battery of the K380 keyboard? 
The answer is zero. I haven't changed the battery since I got this in May 2017. So for me, with a great battery life, solid performance and connection, the design and the reasonable price, the K380 is an investment worth my money and definitely a great device to use with my iPad Pro. In fact, it's great to use with my other devices like my iPad Air 3, my iPhone, and Windows laptop at work. As for the M33 mouse, I might not use it much on my iPad as I mentioned in my last video, I tend to grab more my Apple Pencil to scroll and click on my iPad. So, I hope this video is useful to you and somehow gave you the latest look of the K380 keyboard now that we're here in 2020. So that's it. Thanks for watching.